Why do some businesses seem to have a never-ending supply of customers and clients while others struggle to find their next lead? Why are some people able to command premium pricing while others struggle just to get by? And can you imagine just how much better, easier, and more profitable your business would be if you could generate clients and customers on demand? While it may sound too good to be true, millions of people are doing this every single day, and you can too. So in this video, we're going to cover a simple seven-step process so you can start generating more clients and more customers. Hello and welcome, my name is Adam Earhart and you're watching The Modern Marketing Show, where we take different marketing tactics, tools, tips, and strategies and break them down into bite-sized, actionable clips that you can use to immediately take your business to the next level. Clients and customers are the lifeblood of business, and the volume of new customers and clients coming into the business means the difference between surviving and thriving. So here's a simple seven-step plan that you can use in your business to immediately start generating more clients and more customers. If you want a steady and consistent stream of new leads coming into your business, you're going to need to have a plan. Sure, there are some tactics and techniques you can use to immediately start bringing in new leads, but for long-term and sustainable growth, nothing beats having a well-thought-out plan. This way, you can track what's working and what's not, so you can spend more time and money on the winners and cut the losers. When you're just getting started, it doesn't need to be any more complicated than simply keeping track of what you've tried and what the results were. Step two is accurately defining your ideal customer. The more accurate you're able to define them, the better you'll be able to create meaningful marketing messages that resonate with them. The best way to define your ideal customer is to first take a look at who your business is already serving and then pick the top 10 to 20% of them. This top 10 to 20% is your ideal target market. From there, see if you can identify any patterns among them like their age, gender, profession, or interests that you can use to seek out more people just like them. Once you have this written down, it's time to move on to the next step. Now that you've defined your ideal target market, it's time to start thinking about where you're going to be able to find them, both online and offline. Not in a creepy stalker way, but in a way that allows you to better deliver your message to them. For example, offline it could be local clubs, recreation facilities, restaurants or coffee shops, or retail stores. Online it could be a specific social media network like Facebook, Twitter, or LinkedIn, or on a website or forum that they're interested in. Now that you've identified your ideal customer or client and found out where they hang out, it's time to work on getting your message heard above the noise. And this is where the marketing term differentiation comes into play. Here's where you want to find what makes your business unique in the marketplace and then expand on it. An important point here is that you want to pick something that your customers or clients actually care about. Being different just for the sake of being different can work, but it's a whole lot more complicated and challenging. So try to find something different about you that your customers or clients really care about. A great way to alleviate any fears or uncertainty your potential clients may have is to constantly be working on providing value up front. If you want a steady and consistent supply of new leads, you need to be providing a steady and consistent supply of value. This can be done through your website or blog, social media, white papers, articles, or even free initial consultations. How you provide value is completely up to you, so the best plan is to find a way that you'll enjoy and be consistent in. Step 6 builds off our last point perfectly, as the next step to start generating more clients and customers is to teach. The reason that teaching works so well is that 1. It's human nature to respect people that teach us things, 2. We appreciate that someone took some time out of their day to show us something that could help, and 3. Teaching helps prove that you really do know what you're talking about. Once you've decided to incorporate an element of teaching into your marketing, the opportunities to do so are nearly limitless. From in-person seminars, to online webinars, on a blog, in a video, in a social media post, in an email, or one-on-one, -on -one, just to name a few. The ultimate inbound marketing strategy is authority marketing. When you're perceived as an authority, expert, or guru in your market or industry, life and business get a whole lot easier. Like, a lot easier. Seriously, like really, really easy. Being an authority means that new business, clients, and customers actively seek you out, and your days of struggling for new business becomes a thing of the past. Now, I get it that the advice to go out there and suddenly become an expert sounds like a big and crazy suggestion, but the truth is, this type of marketing and positioning is happening every single day. It's working for others, and it can work just as well for you too. I've created a giveaway on authority marketing that you can download for free by visiting adamerhart.com authority, which will help get you started on the right foot. So thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this episode, be sure to subscribe to the channel, give Give it a thumbs up and if you have any questions, comments or suggestions for a future video, be sure to leave them in the comments section below. If you'd like more content like this, then head over to adamerhart.com and sign up for the Modern Marketing Newsletter because this is where I share my best tips, tricks and strategies that I don't share anywhere else. Take care for now and we'll catch you next time on the Modern Marketing Show.